Dick Fast back here again with another Plowboys Tech Tip. We're getting into the straps, baby. Strapping on. Get your marine grade transom straps here, boys and girls. You want to hold your sander down flat? These are available in four foot and six foot. That doesn't get any better than that. Four times stronger than what's ever at TSC. Twice the speed of your crap from Canadian Tire. Water resistant marine grade. You got a spreader in your truck? Get the four footers. You got a spreader on your flat deck? Get the six. Another tech tip brought to you by Dick Fast and the Plow Boys. It's a four foot five big block right there. Blue glove right there on it. Frick. Partially naked. Gets right down to the breakfast meats and the bologna sandwiches. These have the mustard to smooth your appetite over. Hey, Dick Fast back here again, internet's most hated self-proclaimed plowed legend. Today, I'm going to walk you through plowing a parking lot in case you needed your hand held, okay? So let's get into it. Here I am coming up the hill, pushing my way in on the first push. I'm opening up the road as I go in, you know? Saves me circling back to open it up later. Makes the most sense. You see I'm swinging her up the side there. Guess what? I don't play around with this. I'm going to slam this right into the rhubarb. Okay, boys? Up into the trees there, boys. Because we're not playing. i got to do the landscaping in half these places. Where's the leaf removal? You see that? That's right. Plow boy's job. So now i got room on this side here. Flash over to this uh, time lapse. Bam. Okay, now you can see on this side, for about the first... 18 feet of the lot, maybe 25 feet of the lot, there's a piece of grass I can back up on. So you can see I'm there just feeding the rhubarb with that good white snow banks until I open up enough room I can swing that truck. Because now I got a brick wall on my back. I can't back up dead into a brick wall. And if you can, comment below. Let me know how you do that because I would love to know. So now I'm going to push the snow over to the side, folks, opening up room so I can back up toward that brick wall. So I'll keep pushing it till I don't have to anymore. I can fit. I'll swing back. Now, the thing about the far end of this lot you might not be focusing in on right now because it's a little far away is that there's a set of stairs there. OK, and there's one sewer grate that sticks up a little. So I go around that sewer grate a little, I keep pushing, I start veering for the stairs. I don't want to bury the stairs. Nobody likes walking on stairs that are buried, okay? Let's put it that way like that. So then I keep pushing up the side, I build a big snow bank in that one corner there to the left hand of the stairs. And uh, yeah, my boys, so that's how you properly pattern out a plow job, you know? And once you find that sweet, sweet nectar, of the perfect course of action for banging a lot off like you wouldn't imagine. It's just like finding that G spot, baby. It hits right every single time after that. Then I back the rig up down the second road. The way this lot works out is a road coming an in road in, a square lot, and an in road out. So now I back down that out road, boys, because I want to push that all up into the back. There's nowhere to leave that snow out by the road folks so don't do it if we're not trying to block the driver's view obstruction of visual justice so i push that snow right back up the hill you can see my buddy and he's filming like a madman running backwards doing whatever it takes to get these shots and then on a big day you know on a big snowfall i got a lot of snow built up there so i just keep driving that into the back corner till she's full She's full like you after Thanksgiving or even that great dinner you have around Christmas. Okay, boys, this property's got a sidewalk across the front. So while I'm knock, knock, knocking on the plowman's door, knocking out that lot in the back, my buddy Ian's gone around front. 
He's having at that sidewalk. He's just like he owns the thing, okay? That's one thing you got to understand about the snow when you go dominate a sidewalk. You got to straight up dominate a sidewalk, okay? That's just how it goes. Then I'll circle back around. I'll bring the salt rig down. He'll hop in there, get a few nice scoops out of her, good scoops. And he'll spread that puppy there so nobody's going to slip, fall, break anything at all. Believe me. Dick Bass and the Plow Boys. Woo! These hills have eyes out here, boy. Woo! We got a snow dog. VMD 75. She's sitting on a Ram 2018 Equal Diesel 1500. Problem is, she's pretty low in the front here. In this general area here. So, uh... The plan is we're going to pop these bolts, raise that bracket up, maybe two holes. See where I fingered that line on there? We're going to cut that off. That's going to give us another inch of clearance there, maybe a little more. But that's also going to bring this main frame rail up, another inch off the ground. So, you know, doing whatever it takes to push down that extra inch. Story of our lives, boys. Come on. nice fat that's why when i was young i wore the husky jeans you know what i mean not fat i'm husky baby come on so if you can see what i did here was i just clearance that to get around that bolt because that's already maxed out up at the top couldn't go any higher so uh that'll work so now i can cut this extra three quarters of an inch off here on each side effectively giving us more clearance as you can see expert clearance clearance for clearance i always wonder who this clearance guy was thought maybe he was a bargain shopper it's always after clearance we have a definitive three quarters of an inch total clearance on the front end of our rig <laughs> 